Hi, I'm Michelle Pilly, the Managing Director and Publisher of Hay House UK. What makes you think, when it comes to writing a book, that you're going to have to do that completely alone? Most of the rest of the time, we know that we are loved, we're protected. We're aware of spirit, of our guides, of the universe, goddesses, God, or whatever name you use for the divine force. We feel guided so often to read certain books. We have that kind of nudge to attend certain talks or workshops or, or listen to particular people speaking. But when it comes to writing, why do we feel so alone, thrown back onto our own resources? Why does it look like writing must be a solitary, isolated experience? Somewhere we sometimes doubt that we're going to have that support. We wonder if all divine guidance has suddenly disappeared. Perhaps it's focused on somebody more worthy and more interesting and more skilled. But it certainly doesn't seem to be looking at us or aware of us. Yet when we take a chance and step out of our small selves into that larger consciousness, the inspiration can really start flowing through us. Wonderful best-selling author Robert Holden, who I'm sure you're very familiar with, has a quote just that he puts just right by his computer. It's from his favorite book, The Course in Miracles. It says, it cannot be that it is hard to do the task that Christ appointed you to do, since it is he who does it. I find that a very beautiful thing to ponder. The idea that we're writing in isolation all on our own is an illusion, but it's one that we hold in place so often. But just getting past our small selves, our small ego selves, and focusing on why we really want to write a book, is it for service? Is it for a motivation that's more than ourselves? Can really lift us up and help us connect to the divine energy. If like our founder, the wonderful Louise Hay, your motivation in writing a book is to help the people. And that was her motivation when she wrote You Can Heal Your Life, 40 million copies later. But she is, that was it, that was the starting point. If you can find that point, that inspiration, the ideas will just flow and you can surrender and trust.